What is up guys, it's David from Premium Auto Styling and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to wrap a fender. Luckily for us, we were able to pretty much disassemble the front end, but if you guys can't do this at home, you can still use some of the tricks that I'm gonna apply in this video. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but let's go ahead and get into it. One of the things that I wanna mention before we get started is that um, some good ideas that you could do are like little tricks to kind of help you hook your corners a little bit better is to pop this fender out and also use some masking tape around these areas. That way when you're, you're cutting right here, the vinyl doesn't stick as well and you can go ahead and tuck it a little bit better. And um, same thing on this side over here as well. Since we have all of the um, front end disassembled, we're able to hook our corner a little bit better but like I said guys, if you guys don't if you guys don't have that luxury of doing it at home, you can still um, apply all these techniques at home with just some masking tape and just some very careful cutting. Thing I forgot to mention is that when you're working with the metallic film there's gonna have some directionality to it so if you guys want to go ahead and step over here you see the arrows are facing this way and we want to make sure that it's consistent all the way through one way that I like to remember it is the 3m logo has to, always has to be facing up so these arrows are pretty much gonna travel along the car this way <clears throat> and then if you guys do not have a front Go ahead and buy some magnets, they come in really handy uh, for laying um, film by yourself. Because David has no friends. Alright. Because no one wants to help me here. You guys notice the film's all wrinkled up it looks pretty um messy you know um during this stage you don't want to go ahead and squeegee yet what you want to do is you want to glass the panel out meaning that you want to go ahead and get all these wrinkles out before you even put your squeegee down and get all the air out so one way that i like to do it is i like to hit all my corners first so i have a corner here here over here over here and then one down here so let's go ahead and just hit each corner I'll take some material off right there and I'll go ahead and I'll give it a nice tug this way and now as you guys can see the wrinkles are kind of going away we have a lot of wrinkles this way so what I can do is I can go ahead and lift this panel and give it a tighter pull go now some of these wrinkles are going away right here and if you guys see some wrinkles here this one you just lift up pop them down now we're gonna go ahead and hit these two corners over here I'm doing small little relief cuts that way I can maneuver the film a little bit easier You guys can see the wrinkles are pretty much all going away. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this whole area. That way I can stretch this way. Whenever you guys stretch something and pull something you always want to go ahead and make sure you shrink it back down so if you guys want to look here <clears throat> the film is a little stretched so you want to just heat it a little bit and you'll see the film relax in its place 
and that prevents it from shrinking like during the sun. And now we're um, ready to squeegee. Leave a little opening right here if we can. This car is white. You want to make sure you get full coverage on the uh, panels. So with this one, what I like to do, I just like to give myself a little bit extra. That way, what I have right here, I can go ahead and just tuck that back there. And I like to do that around the whole area. All right guys, and that is how you wrap a fender. As you guys can see, there's still some white exposed right here, but that all gets covered up by the trim pieces and the camera. So make sure you guys watch the next video on how to wrap a door.